In Ukraine, it may not be open war yet, but the fight between Russia and the West is already quite fierce on the YouTube front. They are leaking embarrassing phone calls between top diplomats from opposing sides, and some conversations are quite entertaining. The authenticity of these calls and the identity of those responsible for the leaks are still being debated, but in the meantime, here are some of those fallen victim to this unique way of trading diplomatic blows. Apparently, these two Russian ambassadors had great fun joking about the places their homeland should invade after Crimea. <laughs> but the Americans also had their dose of embarrassment. It seems that top diplomat Victoria Newland wasn't very diplomatic when discussing European allies with the US ambassador in Ukraine. It goes without saying, she ended up on YouTube too. So that would be great, I think, to help glue this thing and have the UN help glue it and, you know, fuck the EU. Then there were the alleged conversations between those EU officials that Newland holds so dear to her heart. In one of them, EU Chief Diplomat Catherine Ashton is caught discussing a very controversial theory with the Estonian Foreign Minister. The snipers who killed protesters in Kiev may have been taking orders from the opposition rather than from the runaway president Viktor Yanukovych. So that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers they were it was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. I think they do want to investigate. I mean, I didn't, I didn't pick that up. That's interesting. Gosh. Ukrainian opposition politicians did not escape public humiliation either. Yulia Tymoshenko is one of the country's best-known political figures and a presidential candidate in the coming elections. Her views on how to treat the Russians living in Ukraine didn't appear exactly conciliatory. <laughs> now, all we have to do is wait for the next embarrassing phone call to be leaked. Don't worry, it won't take too long.